Hey guys, and today I'm gonna talking about DevSec and a new module from J and V modules. Uh, this module is highly inspired by Max for Live device, and it comes from Monolake old school uh, albums. And yeah, so the idea behind this module is uh, we have uh, basically up to 16 step sequencer but each step has its own division so what it means it's like we have a clock divider inside the sequencer and it's applied by when the uh, particular step will appear in what uh, number of cycle next cycle uh, of the sequencer so in that way you can make not annoying and very pleasant melodies around your patches and it could be repeating uh, time to time very nice for kind of uh, melodic stuff most of all almost all electronic music so let's go and try to do something from scratch already has a connection just basic connection from my clock and reset as well so let's take the jack you can see this um, swelling indication of uh, kind of imagination dividing in the clip or oh, sorry step and this module has end of cycle output and you can uh, use uh, its own purpose for example combine into boolean logic and trigger some drums uh, so let's set it to E minor and drop an octave below now we have a land equal five step and the trick is setting division right and musically if you of course want that so in my case i have uh, uh, the first step playing each cycle so it has a uh, one division or just no uh, dividing but the second has 8 and the third has 16 and X has 32 so it's pretty musical dividing and here I set um, for example 1 uh, 2 3 and 4 Okay, already set up the connection. Some delay. So let's continue just with this oscillator. So you can see the changes come more often than a previous instance of diff seek. Sorry. Wrong. the tempo we can also reduce the division of the first step make it more airy in this case not so repetitive and it can already uh, get some air in your a sequence your passages so let's just add a guide kick drum for example from this boolean logic now let's just do something straightforward The 
that's already pretty cool and we have a, a new um, new hotkeys for the each random um, buttons if you're curious in but I personally not quite because I like those minimalistic but pretty predicted result with the sequences so let's continue with patching and let's concentrate on making some long kind of bad changes so I don't even need to take a gate signal here just make some something lushy or just add a wood slab with high attack and gentle mode so I don't need so faster clock for that so let's just divide by 4 let's reset ok let's stick with uh, land 5 or 4 it doesn't matter uh, at first it's just too slow for now now the pad is appearing and sometimes it's at uh, some notes and it's looked like a progression in the sequencing sound let's add a delay that's very nice okay you can also use a diff sick as a gate sequencer of course so let's drive some faster clock Let's take a hi-hat with just a gate output. And let's set division a bit weird to get a less uh, obvious result. Good for percussion, at least for me. high frequency content okay the delay nice and calm wipe Let's uh, continue with using DeepSec as a rhythm generator, trigger sequencer. Let's just 
just uh, make some percussion. Let's initialize it and make some pattern from scratch. Okay, let's inject some random here. This module is actually pretty good as a gates trigger sequencer because it has an obvious control for the gate. So I would like to experiment with this row. Let's set these divisions. All sequencers from JNV is uh, uh, dedicated for making music and it's just awesome, it's very clever interface, uh, very nice controls around it. So you just concentrate on the music in your modular environment and make it sounds YB. Okay, let's add some uh, another rare uh, rare sounds around the patch. Let's also initialize it. Let's set the quantizer here. As you can hear, this patch is now uh, has pretty obvious repetitive type, but it's not annoying because because it doesn't happen all the time, and your mind does not getting tired. This is what I called semi-random especially when you set divisions like uh, odd numbers 3 or 7. Okay, let's stick with a new sound. Let's inject random note. Decrease a range. Let's inject a shorter, oh, slower clock. Okay, what's about an a dotted clock? Let's check the random gate. Let's apply a reset. and send just different divisions so sometimes it will play just one note sometimes two notes or sometimes even three notes Apply triplet clock. Nice, it's moving in the air. Let's make some lush sound. Maybe it's with the unison. Let's add a slap for slower attack and at the river and we have a 
last A channel here. Let's add some percussion as well. And now let's uh, duplicate it. Press Ctrl M. Let's reset again. This is an odd issue. We just lose our gates. So hope the dev will fix it sometimes. I don't know why it's what's happened. But it just uh, reset uh, behavior of random clock on this uh, button row buttons. So be careful. Okay. Let's add pretty faster clock and make random gate. We need a lesser gate and high, pretty high divider mode. with the noise sound we can use uh, alt shift and click It. So it was something like that. Uh, thank you for watching, guys. And this is pretty interesting sequencer for pretty musical purpose to experiment with. You can get this patch on my Patreon and support my channel a bit. And thank you for watching, guys. And see you next time.